Welcome back to our Magic 8 Ball project. In this video we're going to make a runner for our game. So we'll start by creating a new file and we're going to say public class runner and then what we're going to do is uh, let's see public static void main string args and we'll want to create an instance of our ball so we're going to say magic ball and this is of course is our abstract ball and then we'll say new magic 8 ball so we're creating an instance actually of the magic 8 ball in this case and then what we want to do is say we want to turn the ball so we'll call the turn ball method so we'll say ball dot turn ball and if we go into our magic 8 ball file let's see our magic ball file we've got our turn ball method which randomly chooses a, um, a number and then gives that our answer index so what's actually happening here is it's going up it's it's looking in magic 8 ball but because magic it doesn't find it in magic 8 ball turn ball and we're extending magic ball it's going to go up into magic ball and actually look for it and the thing that we need to check is to make sure that magic 8 ball has super as part of it let's see So let's go ahead in our constructor here and put super in. And then we'll compile to make sure if we actually, oh, we don't want it in the runner. Let's see, we want to save the runner. That's what it's saving. And this is spelled wrong. Let's see, E N S. A N S. And this should be answer index. There we go. Okay, so we added super to our magic eight ball so that it can see up into magic ball. And magic ball will also have super in it just so it can see into java.lang.object. Um, but since we have our turn ball in magic ball then magic eight ball should see it using super all right so then we'll need to basically get something from the user their question in other words so we'll go and actually put in scanner class so we'll say import java.util.scanner And then we'll say scanner reader is equal to new scanner system.in and then we can do something as simple as say system.out.println ask a yes or no question and I'll give you an answer and then we'll go ahead and put a return new line and then we'll scan in the question so we'll say string question is um, equal to s uh, reader dot next line And then we're going to um, make it lowercase. So we'll say question 
is equal to question dot to lowercase. And then we're going to make sure it's actually a question. So we'll say if the question dot index of, and then we're going to put in question words like who, what, where, when, why, those can, the kind of things. And we'll say if it's not equal to negative one, then it's actually part of the sentence. And so they actually asked a question. And so we'll say, we'll do this for who, and we'll do this for what. And actually this should be question. Or question dot index of what is not equal to negative one. Or question dot index of why. Not equal to negative one or you can actually put these ors on different lines. So let's see, so they're not running over each other. That should be question dot index of who, what, where, why is not equal to negative one or question index of when not equal to negative one or how. I think we have all the question words there. Or which, actually, we need one more which. Should be all of them. Then we're going to print out um, system dot out print ln. Your question was not stated as a yes or no question. And then we can say some in our else condition Say system dot out dot print ln ball, which is um, we we'll use the two string from our instance of ball, and then we'll system dot out dot print ln. Do you want to ask another question? Let's go ahead and turn our ball right after we ask the question. And again, we'll scan in the question and we'll put it to lowercase.
and then we'll set play again or do again to false. So let's go ahead and um, let's go to the top and make a variable for play again. So we'll say do again is equal to true. And we'll need to make it a boolean. Oops. And then while do again which means it's true, we're going to go ahead and do this. And then we need, here's going to be end of class, end of main, end of while loop, This needs to be tabbed in. So this is the end of the conditional. End of else. This is the end of the conditional. We don't need this. OK. So let's go ahead and compile. See if we have any mistakes. And all right, it doesn't like our if statement. Else without if. No, but you're not unless we forgot a curly brace down here, which we did. All right, so now it thinks that we probably are off by a curly brace. <laughs> And we're missing a T. And what doesn't that like about this one? It says question is already defined in the method, so we don't have to do a string there. So now we should fix our error so we can go ahead and run it. And um, how will I do at the baseball game today? And then it's saying it is decidedly so. And uh, let's see, I can ask another question and it's not bringing up 
text again. So we have a couple little bit of logical errors here to fix. So I think what this has to be done is this has to be outside of the conditional. Let's try and see if that'll fix that. Um, let's see, will I make an A on my test? You may rely on it. Do you want to ask another question? Yes. Oops, it's still not coming up with that. All right, so I spent a couple minutes trying to figure out what we need to do, and I think we have it here. So what we need to do is um, we're skipping a line of giving the person a choice of whether they want to um, do it again or not. So we're going to go up here to the top where our um, variables are and we're going to say string choice is equal to a blank string and then once they get down to any of these questions and it's not, it's J they're checking that it's not a question and if it is a question, it's turning the ball. But then after we're done, we need to ask another question. We need to ask them, do you want to ask another question? So we'll say if choice dot equals ignore case yes, then we want to ask the question, then ask the yes or no question scan it in, turn it to lowercase, change do again to false, and then um, put an extra curly brace in, and then we'll also need to do an else, and In this case, our else is going to be system dot out dot print ln um, have a nice day or something like that it could be your choice. I need some quotes here. Parentheses. Alright, now we can run this and we'll say, Will I win? And I'll say, As I see it, yes, have a nice day. And um, it's still skipping. Do you want to have another, ask another question? Um, All right, so after doing a little testing, I got it to work, and here's the fixes that you should need to have to do. First of all, if we ask, um, do you want another question, that needs to be outside of the conditional of where we either check whether it's not a question or we turn the ball. Then we're going to ask the reader, scan in the reader's choice, and if it's yes, then all we have to do is set do again to true uh, and it will go back up to the top and ask do you want to um, ask a yes or no question and start the process over again so we don't need to repeat these lines down here so I commented them out else if somebody says they don't want to do it again we're going to print out have a nice day and we're going to set do again to false um, because they don't want to repeat it um, and that's if we compile it now and we run it um, we can say something like will I win and it says concentrate and ask again so I'll say yes I want to ask another question I can say will I 
win? And it says my reply is no, so I'll say no, I don't want to ask another question. And then it prints out, have a nice day. Now the other error that we were, we, we were getting an out of bounds error because um, in our Magic 8 Ball, we have 19 choices from 0 to 19. Well, there's 20 choices, but they go from 0 to 19. So in this int num answers, we really need to change return 20 to turn return 19. Because otherwise, if by chance it chooses 20, um, the 20th choice, you'll get an out of bounds um, index error for your array. All right, well, that's it for this video, and we'll see you on the next one where we're going to subclass out another type of ball and also do um, file IO, which is we're going to input a list of answers instead of um, having them hard-coded into the array. See you next time.